YouTube, what's going on? It's Loose for Kicks, back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap, smack, kick, or punch that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. It's been a minute, y'all, since I sat in front of this camera and talked sneakers, but I said I was coming back and I'm back. So what are we gonna talk about today? What we're gonna talk about today is lace swapping, okay? Sometimes you buy a sneaker and you really like it, but it's just something about it that makes you not want to wear it sometimes. Something as simple as swapping a lace could really, really make you love that shoe or make you want to buy it. Sometimes sneakers come with extra laces. And you go, oh yeah, these are cool. Or what if they came with this color? So we know you know, uh, extra laces, uh, it's big business, it's big business. Some people charge an exorbitant amount for extra laces, but there are other uh, fiscally responsible ways of purchasing laces for the low that are of good quality as well. Now, you know, if you brand loyalty and all that stuff, that's cool. But if you're trying to save a few bucks, that's cool too, all right? And I'm not gonna talk about who I use, I'm gonna tell you where I went, Amazon and eBay. All right, I've gotten these laces in, and I'm not gonna talk about the companies because they aren't paying me anything. I got these in within three to four days each time, most of the time, all right? So I'm gonna show you a couple of pairs of sneakers that I just was not feeling until I lace swapped them. So the first pair I'm gonna show you is, actually I'm gonna show you two pairs. Remember the perforated pack? This pack that became outlet superstars that people were finding for like $40 each you know, or less. A lot of people customize these. Remember the, the first class flights, the, the yellow and white Jordan ones that came out last year? This is essentially that shoe with yellow on. It's the same material, but people went crazy for it and it had the same perforation on it. Believe it or not, the perforated pack has great quality on it, but because we had the yin yang pack, which I have up there as well, people did not want these. But a very simple, clean sneaker. And sometimes all you need is to swap out the laces. I was actually beating on this pair right here. As you can see, the soles. I actually was wearing these quite a bit. And I have uh, the white speckle and the black speckle. It's not quite cement, if you wanna go with that, but it does bring the sneaker out a little bit more. And every time I wore these, people actually look down at my feet like, oh, it's those. So let's get a, a closer look at these so you can really take in the full effect of the sneaker, all right? So as you see, Right here, you got some white and black speckles. And it really brought the sneaker. I'm not a big fan of putting black laces on white sneakers. That's just not my thing. It's just the, the uh, subtleness of this works for me. And especially on the black pair. And you can see that's actually great. Um, they do have reflective laces, this particular brand. And like I said, I'm not going to push the, the particular brand because they aren't paying me anything all right i'm not going to help them out i <laughs> put any money in my pocket all right but if you're loyal to a brand that's on you you know so be it all right so that was a perforated pack and as you see a very very simple basic sneaker basic black and white sneaker it just needs a little bit to make the sneaker pop and that's what it takes sometimes for those but these other pairs i'm going to show you these sneaker, these uh, lace swaps really, really did the trick with it. And it's really all about placement and playing off some of the secondary colors on the sneaker. So let's get into the next one. Right here, we have the Jordan 3 Unite. All right, now we know a lot of people had issues about this sneaker because of that. They put Sha on the back and the hype beast went crazy. Then people found out, oh, the sneaker is actually not worth as much as we thought all because of Nike Air on the back and people wanted to shot this time. Some of y'all peculiar, man. What? You know, they don't want the jump man on the back. What? I want Nike Air on the back. What? Oh, I don't want the, the Nike Air on the back. I want the shot on the back. What? Basically what you should be saying is, um, what needs to be on the back so I can sell the shoe? That's what you need to be saying, but that's neither here nor there. So what makes this lace swap really do the trick? As you can see, the tongue is gray, 
and I have gray speckled laces in there or cement if you will all right and it plays off nicely with the elephant print so that little update right there and you know these sneakers came with black laces in them they also came with red and white and coming in at $200 they should have given you something obviously with that but I was looking online to figure out a way to make myself wear this sneaker and this was a birthday gift and then here it is July I haven't worn a sneaker yet I got sneakers much older than that I haven't worn but this right here really did it and it made me put the sneaker on and oh my goodness it popped shout out to my dude kicks griffey toe box he and i are currently engaged in a war with lace swapping <laughs> but a uh four dollar and fifty cents lace swap right here did the trick with that hey shout out to the people buying laces for twenty dollars you know do your thing so let's keep it with the jordan three i have another pair that i have not worn and these are two years old and these were a graduation gift. Right here, we have the Jordan 3 Hall of Fame, AKA Katrina. All right, most people just call it by the street name, the Katrina. But these right here are, yeah, these did it, okay? Once I put this elephant print in here and um, it, it really set it off and I kind of laced these up a little different. Notice I use the bottom eyelets at the bottom for the laces. I wanted the laces to be a little shorter because these are 50 well let me give you a little trick a lot of us don't know how long the laces you need for each pair of Jordans most time we swapping out Jordans um, you can lace swap other shoes most time people lace swap out their Jordans for a Jordan low you need 47 or 54 inch laces for a Jordan high you need at least 63 all right now if you're somebody that you don't mind the laces not coming up to the if you want your laces to stop right here, you can go with shorter laces, but these are 63s in here. That way I can lace them up completely if I wanted to, but 63 inches is more than enough. You can see with that. All right, for a mid, a 54 or 47, depending on how long you want the laces to extend, you want the laces to hang out, or do you want to tie up your sneakers? I seldom if ever wear my sneakers unlaced. That's just not my thing. Once in a while I do it. Sometimes I do it, it just depends. But for the most part, I do lace my sneakers up. It's just a thing that I do. But back to these laces. Now, this cement lace, pair of laces I have in here are a little wider, and I like that, so they really, really jump out at you. Now, if you look closely, it's not the same shade as the elephant print on the Jordan 3. Now, at first, it deterred me. I was like, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. But once I got them in natural light, I looked at them, I took them outside, you know, took it away from the, the room lights and stuff like that and this, the shadow box I got right as well. Um, it, it looks way better. All right, it actually blends more with the elephant print than what I thought. But yeah, these will get worn really, really soon. Jordan 3 Hall of Fame, aka Katrina, with the wider elephant print laces on here, y'all. Amazon, eBay, just do a little search and you'll probably come across these. Now, the final pair that I'm gonna show you is a pair that I recently copped. Uh, I said originally I was not gonna buy this shoe, but um, I got them, all right? I got them. I just flicked some laces over there. <laughs> I'll, I'll grab them. But I got them. You got the What The Fives, a very polarizing sneaker. Um, kind of sort of a general release. You know, kind of limited. It's an LGR, a limited general release, because they um they sold out, then they restocked them a couple of times, then they sold out again. So people are buying these, believe it or not. In some places they may be, I know people, they, they're sitting on the shelves in my area. People, different places around the country and the world for that part have a different sneaker vibe. Not everybody likes everything that you like in every city. Trust me, all right? Trust me, I've traveled around enough to know that. But these came with the the black laces but you remember this is the um the metallic five the um, fire red five and the grapes merged into one but you got more of the metallic five in my opinion than anything on here you know with elements of the fire reds with the grape just really getting hitting on the tongue so i said well if i want to lace lot uh, lace swap these out 
what color I'm going to go with. I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors. Actually, my second favorite color next to black. And um, I picked purple and I got the gold agulets on here. Some people would say, oh, you should have got the metallic agulets, the metallic silver agulets. Nah, I just wanted these to jump out. Okay, I wanted these to jump out. I was trying something and it worked. Now, I will say if you buy laces with agulets on it and you're putting them in fives, you might have some problems getting them to the holes. You can see right here, this is a little dinged up and everything. From um, squeezing them into the uh, the lace holes on the plastic supports right here. All right, so pay attention to that. It's not as easy as thought. Like my fingers are sore, especially my thumb, from pushing these agulets through the holes. But this purple, I was not sure about it, but now looking at it, it works extremely well. I'm, I'm cool with that. It's not like that purple that's on the um, court purple 2.0 is like that lilac purple and you got a deep purple. These, this purple right here is a little closer. And that's the problem. I will advise you certain shades of certain colors, okay, are going to look different online. Trust me. And that was my concern that this purple was not going to be close enough. And in real time, if you know, in natural lighting, you would see that. Hopefully, uh, my camera's picking it up for you. But it's not a true match to the purple, that great purple that's on the tongue, which is closer to what's on my hat. But yeah, these helped. I'm actually gonna get into these sooner than later because of that. Now, I may look for some silver agulets just because of this, but I do like that um, kind of distortion and distraction thing. Like, hmm, okay, that's different. He put gold tips on it. I do like that. All right, it becomes a conversation piece, but makes me want to wear these a little more. All right, that's all I got for y'all. Comment, like, subscribe, tap that notification button so you know I'm dropping another one of these things. And I'm back. I'm still going to be dropping science and knowledge. All right, shout out to Power and Black Tees. As you can see, I'm always rocking a t-shirt like this in all my videos and my pictures that you see. Shout out to Power and Black. Um, if you cop something from them, and you continuously do it, they're gonna send you a code where you can get anywhere from 15 to 25% off in your next order. And that's basically a free shirt, believe it or not. Once you do the math, your shirt becomes free. But I'm out here, y'all. Remember, it's not about how much you pay for the sneakers. Why'd you pay that much? Boom.